Hello. In this video, we are going to provide an introduction to um, the Gilbert cell multiplier, which is uh, another kind of multiplier or another possible implementation of an analog multiplier. Uh, and it is very widely used. Uh, here is the circuit for the Gilbert cell. Notice that it consists of a cross-coupled differential amplifier. We can see the two analogs to the multiplier. Um, are what I've labeled as the RF input, which provides uh, the, the signal, the base to transistors Q5 and Q6. Um, and with changes in the RF input, notice that all you're doing is steering the current, the tail current, which is labeled I, gets steered uh, in one branch or the other. The other input of the circuit, or to the circuit, is labeled in green. And I've labeled it as if this was for a, a mixer application, that would be the local oscillator input. Um, and notice that it is being applied to the two uh, cross-coupled DF amps. Um, and so the positive terminal of that input or the positive side of the input is being applied to the base of transistor Q1 and Q4. And uh, the negative side of that input is being applied to transistors Q2 and Q3. And again, uh, depending on the values, uh, the value of that signal, all it is doing is steering the current uh, in, through, the, through those different branches, through the four transistors. And then the output, um, as any analog multiplier, there are two inputs and one output. The output is what I've labeled there as IF output, which is shaded in orange. And notice that it is a current output, and so that's why I've added up there a, a current to voltage converter, which is, is not part of the Gilbert cell, but it's something that you typically will connect uh, if you needed to convert your current output to a voltage output. And that could be as simple as just connecting uh, two resistors to VCC, for example. Now, even though it looks like a complex circuit, we're going to see if you take it step by step, uh, its operation is actually not as complex. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanted to mention a few of the characteristics for this uh, for this circuit. It is a four quadrant multiplier, so that already provides a, a huge advantage over other configurations such as the op amp based multiplier we just saw, based on um, logarithmic and anti logarithmic amplifiers. Uh, in this circuit, the gain is controlled by modulating the emitter bias currents, as we have mentioned. And uh, the gain control is very linear, as opposed to, again, the, the log and dialog type of multiplier we just saw, where we are relying uh, in the operation of, of a nonlinear circuit, a circuit which contains nonlinear elements. Uh, in this case, the transistors, even though their characteristic is nonlinear, they're all operating in their linear region. Uh, and then the, this particular circuit, um, suppresses the unwanted signals by cancellation due to the high symmetry of the circuit. We can see the circuit is very symmetric and so whereas in other cases we will need to use other techniques um, to, to suppress um, the noise or the unwanted portions of signals, uh, in this case they simply cancel each other out. Again, uh, because it relies on those cancellations, uh, one of the requirements for the circuit is that the, the two sides of each deep amp are very well matched. And so it's um, a very suitable circuit for implementation in IC technology for, for these reasons. If you want to look at an example of an IC uh, multiplier, uh, this will be a good one to take a look at. It's the HFA3101 from Intercell. And it is uh, an MPA transistor array, which is configured as a multiplier cell, so you can see how the connections are made internally to come up with a multiplier cell. And then finally, the applications for the Gilbert multiplier are just the same applications as for any multiplier. So they are used as RF mixers, they are used as modulators, demodulators, um, uh, automatic gain control circuits, frequency doublers, frequency shifters, multiplication division, square root operations, all of those. Now what follows um, are a couple of videos about the Gilbert cell, which are part of a different playlist, but I, I think that they do a really good job as, at taking you step by step, uh, first through the explanation of how the Gilbert multiplier cells, again a very step by step approach, but then also um, 
So in your in an experimental setting, uh, the different signals at the different points, as well as how the Gilbert multiplier can be used for some of these applications we just mentioned.